neno moja najua oh ni salama moyoni mwangu ni salama niyo napoamani kama shwari So he spoke in the pre of those verses and talked about the wrath. Katika mistari zilizotangulia aliongelea ghadhabu. And now we see he says that one is taken care of. Sasa hivi tunaona kwamba anasema yote yameshughulikiwa. And he says he says that one is taken care of. Samani anasema hii imeshashughulikiwa. And he says it shall not be no any more. Na anasema haitakuwa tena. Shall not be. I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee. Sitakugadhabikia wala kukukasirikia. And he says I have sworn na anasema nimeapa I have sworn nimeapa Blessed be the name of the Lord Jina la Bwana libarikiwe nimeapa Now just as the rainbow reminds God Kama vile upinde unavyomkumbusha Mungu that he cannot again destroy the earth with a flood Kwamba awezi tena kuangamiza dunia na garika So the blood of Jesus Christ upon you Ivi basi damu ya Yesu Kristo juu ya Kristo You who are a believer and are in redemption. We ambaye ni muumini na katika ukombozi. It reminds him. Inamkumbusha. That, that his wrath cannot be upon you. Kwamba ghadhabu yake haiwezi kuwa juu yako. His wrath cannot be upon us anymore. Ghadhabu yake haiwezi kuwa juu yetu tena. Now wrath I see sometimes being compared to the flood. Wakati mwingine naona ghadhabu ikilinganishwa na kufananishwa like na Like when you talk uh, you when you look at uh, Naum chapter 1 and verse 8. Kama vile ukiangalia kitabu cha Naum 1 mstari wa 8. It says but with an with an overrunning flood he will make an utter end of the place thereof and darkness shall pursue his enemies. Now you see there that is talking about flood and talking about utter destruction i mean yeah utter destruction so it means this is an indication unaona pale inaongea kuhusu ghadhaba na inazungumza kuhusu uharibifu ili ashiria ya ghadhabu yake which if you have time you can read the the previous verses from verse 1 onwards you will find mentioned wrath particularly in verse 2 and verse 6. Ukiwa na wakati wakati wako utasoma kuanzia mstari wa pili imetajwa mahali pale. Particularly verse 2 verse 2 and verse 6. Sana sana mstari wa pili na mstari wa sita imetajwa pale. Now when you come to Isaiah chapter 50a 59. Unapoenda katika Isaia 59. In verse 19. Nasema katika mstari wa 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him Isaiah 59 mstari wa 19 basi wataliogopa jina la Bwana toka magharibi na utukufu wake toka mawio ya jua maana ye atakuja kama kama mkondo wa mto ufurikayo uendeshwao kwa pumzi ya Bwana Again here now we see the wrath of the enemy compared to a rising flood Sasa hivi tunaona ghadhabu ya adui ikilinganishwa na mafuriko ambayo inainuka So if we understand that now God says Tukielewa hivyo sasa Mungu anasema will no more come ghadhabu yake haitakuja tena Just like the floods such as those of Noah will never come again Kama vile garika kama vile wakati wa Nuhu haitarudia tena And he set up a rainbow Na akatengeneza na kuweka upinde that it may remind him and remind us ili imkumbushe ye na that we shall not see destruction kwamba tutaona uharibifu now he says that he has sworn sasa amesema anasema ameapa and i see and i say that for us it is that blood of jesus christ upon us the blood of covenant because there is no other thing we have nimesema kwamba kwetu sisi ni ile damu ya agano maana kuna lolote lingine kwetu sisi we only have that blood of covenant tuko tuna ile damu ya agano now if we understand this tukielewa hii We shall stand before God in expectation of good but not wrath or evil. Amen. We shall stand before him in confidence. We shall stand before him in expectation of good 
ya mema. And not anger and wrath. Wala sio gadhabu na asira. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Now I search out of 54 we are continuing with it. Isaia 54 tunaendelea pale. When we get to verse 10 it says. Mstari wa 10 Biblia inasema. The mountains shall depart and the hills be removed but my kindness shall not depart from thee neither shall the uh, the covenant of my peace be removed says the lord that has mercy on you or on thee maana milima itaondoka na vilima vitaondolewa bali wema wangu hautaondoka kwako wala agano langu la amani halitaondolewa asema bwana akuremuye He says it is easier for the mountains to move. Anasema ni rahisi kwa milima kusongezwa. It is easier for the hills to be brought down. Ni rahisi kwa milima kuangushwa. But his kindness towards you. Lakini rehema yake kukuelekea. And the covenant of peace. Na agano ya amani. And Jesus said. Yesu alisema. This is my blood of the new covenant. Hii ni damu yangu ya agano jipya. And this is the covenant we have with him. Na hili ndilo agano tulilonalo kwa mtume wake. Agano la amani. It shall not be removed. Halitaondolewa. Amen. Amina. Shall not be removed. Halitaondolewa. And he says the Lord that has mercy on you. Na nasema kwamba Bwana aliye akurehemuye. Because we did not deserve. Kwa sababu hatukustahili. Alituonyesha rehema zake. It is by grace yes. Ni kwa neema But when he has done it. Lakini akishatenda. It shall not be undone. Anasema haitaondolewa. Amen. Amina. That is his kindness towards us. Hiyo ndio wema wake kutuelekea sisi. His kindness and covenant of peace is assured. Rehema zake kwa agano la amani ni uhakikisho. Never to be removed from never to be removed from from them that are his own kwamba halitaondolewa kwa wale ambao ni wake it has been cut by the blood of his son jesus christ imeshughulikiwa na damu ya mwanawe yesu kristo his only begotten son mwanayo mpendwa the lamb of sacrifice mwana kondoo wa dhabihu given for a ransom aliyepeanwa kama dhabihu kwa we are the redeemed of the lord sasa hivi sisi ni waliokombolewa na bwana let's be the name of the lord jina la bwana libarikiwe and he is, he is assuring us anatuhakikishia that be assured kwamba uhakikishiwe that my kindness towards you is constant kwamba rehema zangu kukuelekea My peace for you is constant by covenant. Amani yangu kwako ni daima. Yes you may be barren. Ndio huenda wewe ni tasa. You may be Pengine umedharauliwa. You may be overlooked by Labda people. Labda umepuzwa na watu. May, you may be told you are not worthy to speak go for nothing. Ukaambiwa wewe ni bora usaidi kuongea lakini anasema. My kindness towards you. Kukuelekea. A covenant of peace. Agano la amani kwako. It shall not be moved. Haitaondolewa. People despise you. Watu But I'm kind to you. Lakini mimi ni nakurehemu. People 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 may may call you names. Wenda wakakutaja majina. My, my my kindness and my peace is towards you. Lakini amani yangu na rehema zangu zinakuelekea. Let's continue reading verse 11 and 12. Tuendelee kusoma mstari wa 11 na 12. Oh thou afflicted. Ewe ulieteswa. Tossed with tempest. Ulierushwa na tufani. Not comforted. Usietulizwe. Behold I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay the foundation with sapphires Tazama nitaweka mawe yako kwa rangi nzuri nitaweka misingi yako kwa yakuti samawi And I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stone Nami nitafanya minara yako ya hakiki nyekundu na malango yako ya almasi na mipako mipaka yako yote mawe uliteswa You toast with tempest. Ulie rushwa rushwa na tufani. He who does not know comfort. We usie jua stare. I speak to you. Na kunenea. Behold the Lord is at hand. Tazama Bwana yuko. The Lord has come. Bwana amefika. You are distressing condition. Hali yako ya kutabisha. You are depressing 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 condition. Hali yako ya kukuhuzunisha. Shall be totally changed over. Itabadilishwe kikamilifu. Into beauty. Iwe uzuri and comfort. Na stare. Beauty and comfort. Uzuri na stare. I know. Najua. People will look What what and they will wonder is this the same one je ni yule mmoja called barren ambaye tulimuita tasa is this the same one je ni yule mmoja tuliyemwambia ni bure they looked at the one who was 
was blind. And they say, is this the one who was blind? And others said it is like him. Others were saying it is him. He has to stand in his own testimony and say, I am the one. I am the one. I remember they asked him, and what happened to you? May that be your portion. May God bring you to a time when they will ask you, what has happened to you? Because when they asked him that, he said, a man, a man, a man. May you get to a point where you talk about a man, a man, the man Jesus Christ, the rock of ages, the lion of tribe of Judah. May he touch your life and cause you to speak about a man. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Verse 13. And all thy children Remember, we started off verse 1. Baren, we said, the one who has not traveled, in between, we go to seed. And now we come to a point where children, God has done away with the barrenness and is now talking about fertility. He is now talking about children. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is now talking about children. The, the barrenness is history. Forgotten. Sealed. Put aside. All and now it is not one child. You know, when when you are in that state, you say, God just gave me even one child to take away the shame. No, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we can ask or even think. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So when you are crying in barrenness, it now says, all thy children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of thy children. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I feel excited. I, I don't know what type of children it is. I told you that it could be the physical children or those who need them. It could be some other things that you have brought up here and there for those who need them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But whatever it is, it shall be peace for the blessing of the Lord. It maketh rich and it addeth no sorrow. So he says, they shall all be full of peace. Wote watakuwa na amani. You are seed. He's also blessed. None of your own shall perish. None of your own shall cause sorrow. None of your own shall cause pain. You can say amen. It says in verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shall be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear. And from, and from terror. For it shall not come near thee. For it shall not come near thee. The righteousness Haki. given unto us. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 2. 5 verse 21 shall establish and keep us from all oppression from all fear from all terror I repeat that the righteousness is given unto us which we have been assured in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21 but that righteousness shall establish us, shall keep us from all oppression, from fear, and from terror. You can shout hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The righteousness. We, do, we have not fought for it. It has been given to us. And yet with it, so much more has been bestowed upon us. Verse 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together. But not by me. 
lakini si kwa shauri langu whosoever shall gather together against thee watu wote watakao kusanyana juu yako shall fall for thy sake wataanguka kwa ajili yako you are a dangerous house wewe ni makao ambayo ni hatari sana makao ama Some nyumba call ya. it a hot wire wengine wanaita them that gather against you wanao kusanyana kinyume chako they are not gathering for your destruction hawajikusanyi ili kukuharibu and it says surely they shall gather na inasema hakika watakusanyana wanakusanyana pasipo kujua they are passing and planning in ignorance wanakusudia na kupanga pasipo kujua because they don't know what they are getting themselves into maana hawajui wanajiingiza kwa yapi they are gathering together wanakusanyana pamoja for their own fall kwa ajili ya kuanguka kwa wenyewe bali sio wewe their own fall kuanguka kwa wenyewe bali si wewe when they think they are getting almost through with you wakati wanafikiria kwamba karibu wanakumaliza they are getting through with themselves kumbe wanajimaliza wao wenyewe amen Amina. they are organizing for their own getting done away with wanajipangia njama ya kujimaliza wao wenyewe maybe you can ask modekai pengine unaweza muuliza modekai and he will tell you what Haman did. Atakwambia kile ambacho Hamani alifanya. And how he prepared a place where he would be hung. Na jinsi ambavyo aliandaa mahali ambapo alikuwa anaenda kuninginizwa. And he never knew that was for his own. Na hakujua kama ni mahali pake. Because that is how it is. Kwa sababu ndivyo ilivyo. And God is on your side. Wakati Mungu yupo pande wako. I want you to know. Na nataka ujue. God is on your side. Kwamba Mungu yupo pande wako. He is wako. on our side. Ako upande wetu. Amen. Amen. Yes, they may gather. Ndio huenda wakakusanyana. Huenda wakajenda. Huenda wakapanga jamaa. It doesn't matter from what uh, from what domain. Haijalishi inatokana na upeo gani. Doesn't from what area. Haijalishi inatokana na sehemu gani. They may plan, they may gather. Huenda wakapanga jamaa na wakakusanyana. Lakini yote ni kwa kuangamia kwao mstari wa 16 behold tazama i have created the smith that bloweth the coal in the fire nimemuumba mhunzi avukutai moto wa makaa and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work akatoa sila kwa kazi yake and i have created the waster to destroy nami nimemuumba muharibu ili aharibu so they are forming kwa hivyo wanaanda And as they form those things they don't know hawajui that the one they are forming against belongs to the one who made them who are forming ni wa yule ambaye aliwaumba wao ambao wanaanda they forget that your protector wanasahau kwamba mlinzi wao ndio yule ambaye aliwaumba and has power over everything they do na kuna uwezo juu ya kila kitu ambacho wanafanya amen. amen your protector is the one who made them ndio aliwaumba Whatever it is they are using whatever skill they have they have got it from your protector and they think that they think that they can use it against you who are protected by the one who made them they don't understand that is why he says now this was where i told you was famous no weapon that is formed against against you hakuna silaha itakayofanyika juu yako itakalo faulu amen Amina. no weapon that is formed against thee hakuna silaha itakayoinuka juu yako shall prosper itakalo fanikiwa because as they form it maana wanapoliunda they don't know that i'm the one who made them hawajui kwamba mimi ndio niliwaumba and i'm your protector na mimi ni mlinzi wao wao ni wangu and then he says pia anasema and every tongue that shall rise against thee na kila in judgment kila ulimi utakaoinuka juu yako katika kukuhukumu thou shall condemn utahukumu I want you to listen to that carefully. Nataka usikilize kwa makini. He doesn't say I will stop it. Aisemi kwamba nitakomesha. He doesn't say I'll deal with it. Aisemi nitakabiliana nalo. No that one he has not said. Ajasema hivi. That one he has left on you. Hii amekuachia wewe. He says I've beaten him up. Anasema nimempiga. You come and do the last thing. Njoo tekeleze ya mwisho. Tongues that 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 rise up in judgment against you. Ndimi ambazo zinainuka kukuhukumu. You yourself shall condemn. Mwenyewe utawahukumu. And he says This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Anasema huu ndio urithi wa watumishi wa Bwana. And their righteousness is of me. Na hakia, haki yao inayotoka kwangu mimi asema Bwana. The righteousness is of me. Haki inatoka kwangu. I've given them righteousness. Nimewapatia haki. And therefore they are now my people. Ivo basi wao ni watu wangu, ni watumishi wangu. And now no weapon raise against them. Sasa kuna silaha itakayoinuka dhidi yao itakayofanikiwa. Because your heritage or covenantal inheritance. Kwa sababu urithi wako ama urithi wako wa kiagano. Is that none of the weapons forged against you shall prosper. Ni kwamba hakuna silaha itakayoinuka dhidi yako litakalofanikiwa. And I want you to note the word none. Nataka uyu makinikie pale kwa neno hakuna. 
si kumaanisha kwamba si moja not one si moja not not that few may si kwamba machache uenda si baadhi yao uenda but none means zero not one hakuna inamaanisha sufuri hakuna hata moja they shall not cause you emotionally distressed azitakusababisha kuzunika they shall not cause you emotionally economically defeated azitakusababisha kusumbuliwa na kushindwa kiuchumi they shall not cause you to be socially harassed azitakusababisha kuteswa kihali no biological defect in you. Na kutakuwa na upungufu wote wa jinsi ya mwili wako. Jina la Bwana libariki. Now when you come to Matthew chapter, chapter 16. Unapoenda katika Mathayo 16. Matthew chapter 16. Mathayo 16. Jesus spoke about you. Yesu aliongea kukuhusu wewe. Now in the new covenant katika agano jipya. Amen. Amina. Jesus spoke about you. Yesu alikuongelea wewe. About me. Kuniuhusu mimi. Why you and me? Wakati ambapo mimi na wewe Why you and me? Samani kwa nini wewe na mimi? You who are a believer in Jesus Christ. Wewe ambaye ni muumini katika Kristo Yesu. Wewe ni sehemu ya kanisa lake. Na alikuongelea. Alisema. In verse 18. Katika mstari wa 18. And I say also unto thee. Nami pia nakwambia. Thou art Peter. Wewe ndiwe Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. Na juu ya mwamba huu nitaijenga kanisa langu. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Wala milango ya kuzimu haitalishinda. We are built by Jesus Christ. Tumejengwa na Kristo Yesu. A strong house. Nyumba iliyohodari. The gates of hell. Na milango ya kuzimu. Cannot prevail against us. Haiwezi tushinda. We are built by the rock upon a rock. Tumejengwa na mwamba juu ya mwamba. The gates of hell. Kama milango ya kuzimu. Cannot prevail against us. Haiwezi kutushinda. It does not matter what the devil and his cohorts scheme. Haijalishi kile ambacho shetani na wazaki wanapanga. It doesn't matter what they plan. Haijalishi mipango yao. It doesn't matter what they put in place. Haijalishi kile ambacho wanaandaa. None shall prevail. Hakuna litakalo shinda. That is your peace. Hiyo ni amani yako. That is your assurance. Hiyo ni uhakikisho wako. That is your hope. Hiyo ni tumaini lako. None shall prevail. Hakuna litakalo shinda. It is all to his own shame. Yote ni kwa kuibika kwake. And to our triumph. Bali kwetu ni ushindi. His own shame. Yote ni kumwaibisha yeye. Bali kwetu sisi ni ushindi. Whatever you passing through. Shota ambacho napitia. The enemy shall be put to shame. Adi yataibisha. And he shall triumph over him. Nasi tutamshangilize. You will show you will show the world. Tutaonyesha ulimwengu. That the devil has no power. Kwamba shetani hana uwezo kukuangusha. He tried. Alijaribu. He struggled with you. But he defeated. Lakini ameshindwa. Ako chini. And you have emerged victorious. Na umechipuka mshindi. Umesimama. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Because you are built upon a rock. Sababu umejengwa juu ya mwamba. Built by the rock. Na umejengwa kwa built to stand. Na umejengwa kusimama. And not to fail. Wala si that is your assurance. Hiyo ndio uhakikisho wako. It is not left for Jesus to fight for us. Ajaachiwa Yesu ili atupiganie. He has empowered us. Bali ametuwezesha. And I think I'll spend time telling you this. Nasikia nimechukua muda nikikupa. And I want to tell you again. Nataka nirudie kukuambia. Luke chapter, chapter 10. Luka mlango wa 10. Verse 19. Mstari wa 19. He will I give unto you power. Tazama nawapa nguvu. To tread on serpents and scorpions. Kukanyaga juu ya nyoka na ngeli. And over all the power of the enemy. Na juu ya nguvu zote za adui. Listen to the conclusion. Sikiliza tamati. And nothing wala, shall by any means hurt you. Wala hakuna lolote litakalo wadhuru. Very important words there. Maneno muhimu sana. Nothing. Hakuna lolote. Any means. Nje yote. Nothing. Hakuna lolote. Using any means. Kwa kutumia mbinu yoyote. Amen. Amina. It doesn't matter what means. Haijalishi ni mbinu yangu. And it doesn't matter what thing. Haijalishi ni kitu gani. Amen. Amina. No person. Hakuna mtu yote. No devil. Hakuna pepo yote. No beast. Hakuna mnyama yote. No weather. Hakuna hali yote. No sickness. Hakuna maradhi yote. No disease. Hakuna magonjwa yote. No pestilence. Hakuna pigo yote. Can do us any harm in Jesus name somebody say amen. Ambaye inaweza tudhuru kwa jina la Yesu. Hakuna silaha. It doesn't matter how it comes. Haijalishi jinsi inavyokuja. Chemical, chemical, biological, whatever the 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 the, the heavy one, atomic. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter where it is formed. You know, because of what the world is passing through. They have come up so many things, so many theories. They have come up so many theories. They have come up many things. They have come up many sayings. But it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter where 
where it originated from. Whether accidental, whether by purpose, whether 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 schemed and directed, it does not matter. Nothing shall by any means do you any harm. Nothing shall by any means do you any harm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because when we see how it all works, we see it all in Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 1. Where we began and we saw that in the state of barrenness, 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 in the state of having not known travail, yet you can, you can lift up a singing, you can lift up a shout, because that is our means of warfare. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Maana silaha za vita vyetu si za mwili bali zina uwezo katika Mungu hata kuangusha ngome casting down imaginations Tukiangusha mawazo and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ Na kila kitu kilicho kilicho jinua kijinuacho juu ya elimu ya Mungu na tukiteka nyara kila fikira ipate kumtii Kristo and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Tena tukiwa tayari kupatiliza maasi yote kutii kwenu kutakapotimia. That is how we fight the warfare. We don't listen to what they say. We hear and nullify. We don't concentrate on the pain. We feel and nullify. Amen. You know, so many things are said that can cause emotional distress, anxiety, fear, and all those things such as would happen in the case of a woman that is without child. But we don't act that. We act according to the word of God. We don't, we don't, we don't start thinking of whom we, who will inherit. You know, Abraham stayed childless for a long time until he was saying who shall get the inheritance of all these that I have. But he was surprised. God told him your own child from Sarah. Because that is how God is. That is how God is. On your screen there is the pay bill. You go to a Mpesa number. And when I mean you you go to your Mpesa account. When you have got your Mpesa account. You go to Lipa na Mpesa. And when you have got your Lipa na Mpesa. You go to pay bill. And when you have got to pay bill, then you have got the account which is on your screen. And when you get to that, you now in the account you write you write offering, you write type. But remember, if you just watch and you are not part of the congregation of JPEX, you don't type here. 
au lipi hapa fungu you are supposed to send your tithe to your pastor unafaa kutuma fungu lako la 10 kwa mchungaji wako so the tithe send it to him kwa hivyo fungu la 10 tumanisha kwake send it to your church whatever system you use send it to your church ama tumanisha kwa kanisa kwa njia hata but no you can give here lakini sadaka unaweza toa any other type of offering you can give here sadaka aina yote ile unaweza toa so in that in that account you'll write offering kwa hiyo account utaandika sadaka. And those who are giving tithe you can write their tithe. Kwa nao lipa fungu unaweza andika pale. And then you write the amount. Alafu unaandika kiwango. Then put in your pin. Weka uh, nambari zako za siri. And then send. Kisha baadaye utume. It will tell you. Itakwambia. It has got to redeem gospel church. Imepokelewa na redeem gospel church. Then you have given your offering. Basi utakuwa umetoa sadaka. God greatly bless you. So I go to pray and then you give it. Mungu akubariki sana kwa hivyo nitaomba alafu tutoe. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you for this wonderful time. Asante kwa sababu ya wakati wa jana. That we honor your substance. Ambao tunakuheshimu na mali zetu. We pray. Tunaomba. That it may be acceptable before you. Baba itakabalike mbele zako. Lord prosper your people as they give. Bwana fanikisha watu wako na mtoto. For them. Watosheleze. In this difficult time. Katika hali ngumu. Shower them with blessing. Afunike na baraka. Let it overflow upon them. Na itiririke juu yao. Let the line be clear between them that know you and trust in you and them that don't know you. Na kuwe na utofauti kati ya wale wanaokujua na wale ambao hawakujua. And glory and honor and praise shall be unto you. Utukufu heshima na sifa zitakubidia. In Jesus pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Amen. Continue giving. Endelea kutoa. Lord will bless you. Na Bwana atakubariki. If you have enjoyed the service. Kama umefurahia ibada. Communicate with us. Wasiliana nasi. Tell us how many you are. Tuambie mlikuwa wangapi. Tell us how you are blessed. Tuambie jinsi ambavyo mlibarikiwa. Tell us whether this change has benefited you. Tuambie kama kweli mabadiliko yamekufaidi. Because we have today minister to you in two languages. Maana leo hii tumekuhudumia kwa kutumia lugha. So tell us how you have benefited from that. Tuambie jinsi ambavyo imefaidika nani. God will greatly bless you also. Na Mungu atakubariki nawe. So join us again the same same way. Jiunge nasi tena. Via Facebook. Kwa uh, Facebook and also via YouTube. Na pia kwa YouTube. And some of you via television and via radio. Na wengine kupitia kwa radio na kwa runinga. Thank you for having tuned in. Santeni kwa kujiunga pamoja nasi. You. Mungu akufanikishe. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Najua. Ni salama moyoni mwangu.